Hello, everyone. This is Paul Bertarelli reporting from the Sport Aviation Expo in Sebring, Florida, where Cub clones are a big deal this year. You can hardly open a car door without bumping into one. This is an interesting one called the iCub, and it's basically a Cub clone airplane wrapped around, well, an iPad. Here's Bill Canino to tell us about it. The iCub was a purpose designed to try to get the use of an airplane that is off-road, just as you would any four-wheel drive vehicle. It's the ability and purposely designed to be able to take it off the runway. We've taken the fabric and tube construction and we've combined it with technology so that we have in the front seat a iPad and it's getting its data for engine and attitude and mapping uh, directly either from satellite backup because of the built-in accelerometers and GPS system or we have a, a wireless system built into the plane that transmit all the electrical data from the engine. So all of your engine instruments are showing up on the iPad. And then in the back seat, there is an iPhone 4 that gets the same data. It's just smaller. So the co-pilot gets the same display as a pilot. The basic frame, of course, is, is traditional tube and fabric. It's been beefed up and additional uh, uh, well points added to handle the loading. As you can see from the landing gear, it's, it's very heavy and, and has gussets on it. So it's able to handle side loadings and abrupt changes like a small rock. It's not, it's not intended that you go hill climbing with it, but it is capable of landing in a field that you've previously checked and make sure that it is safe and you have permission to go there. The engine options are one, a Rotex 912S. It's 100 horsepower and it's, it's so much lighter than some of the other engine options that it, we're able to even use a shorter tail in this aircraft because there's less moment arm with the, with the heavier engine. Uh, we've looked at other engines and we will continue to develop this and soon offer a, a, a higher horsepower model, but not a turbocharger. Stunter tires are standard 26 inch tires that are available from us. We are a distributor, we keep them in stock. So, and they're designed so that they, you can get good concrete life out of them, not just off-road. Some, we are also a distributor for bush wheels, which do not do well uh, on pavement, on paved surfaces. I, I say that when you land, you take a $20 bill out of your pocket and you put it in your other pocket to buy new tires. But with these, it's not an issue. They're designed and they're, they're heavy duty and able to handle the scuffing. Prices start at 75,000 for the classic model, go to about 84 for the uh, cruiser model, and the iCub is 89, uh, 89.5 here at the Sebring. Website is www.icub.aero, A-E-R-O, iCub.aero.